Gasoline cars have ruled the road for over a century. But what if I told you their era is closer to ending than anyone expected? Not because of Tesla, not because of government regulations, but because of a single company rewriting the rules of the global auto market, China's BYD. They're building electric cars so cheap, so efficient, and so advanced that gas engines simply can't compete anymore. Prices are falling, emissions bans are spreading, oil demand is slowing, and suddenly, the future feels inevitable. This isn't just an evolution, it's a takeover, and gas cars may not survive it. For more than 120 years, gasoline cars have been the kings of the road. They shaped our cities, our industries, even our daily routines. Oil companies became global giants. Nations secured power based on fuel reserves. Automakers perfected engines, transmissions, exhaust systems, a complex ecosystem of thousands of parts working together. Buying a car meant buying into that world, but every empire falls. And the gasoline empire is now showing cracks everywhere you look. The first warning sign was regulation. Governments once encouraged car ownership and oil usage, Today, they're actively restricting it. The European Union has set 2035 as the year when new gas-powered cars will be banned. Several US states like California are racing towards similar deadlines. Even countries in Latin America and Asia, places once considered safe havens for combustion engines, are pushing EV infrastructure and zero emission policies. What was once optional is becoming mandatory. The second crack appeared in technology. For decades, EVs were too expensive and too limited in range to challenge gasoline engines. But battery breakthroughs, faster charging, lower cost, greater durability, have flipped the economics. Electric motors are simpler, require less maintenance, and offer instant torque. Meanwhile, gas engines are becoming more expensive to build just to meet emission standards. The cost advantage is shifting away from gasoline, rapidly. The third crack, and the most dangerous, is global competition. For years, Western automakers assumed that if the EV transition ever happened, they would lead it. But the world has changed. China, once mocked for making low-quality cars, has become the world leader in EV production and supply chains. And one company in particular is forcing everyone to confront a future without gasoline dominance, BYD. BYD is not just replacing gas cars. It's replacing the global structure that gas cars depend on. They mass-produce batteries. They manufacture their own semiconductors. They design their cars from the ground up for electric efficiency. They don't need hundreds of suppliers to build a vehicle. They do it almost entirely in-house, faster and cheaper than anyone else. Every shift in technology starts quietly. Then one moment changes everything. Smartphones replace basic phones, streaming replace DVDs, and now electric vehicles are replacing gasoline sooner than expected. Gas cars aren't just losing market share, they're losing their identity as the default way to drive. And BYD is the biggest reason why. Is the big For years, the argument was simple. EVS are great, but they're too expensive. Gasoline cars dominated because they were the affordable choice. Electric vehicles were a luxury, nice for the environment, terrible for the wallet. But BYD flipped that narrative upside down. The turning point came from something most people never think about batteries. A battery can account for up to 40% of the total cost of an EV. That's why early electric cars were so expensive. Automakers had to buy batteries from third-party suppliers at premium prices. BYD asked a different question. What if we just make our own batteries? Better and cheaper. Enter the Blade battery. BYD's breakthrough technology. It uses lithium iron phosphate, LFP, a chemistry that's cheaper, more stable, less likely to overheat, and extremely durable. It can be punctured, bent, crushed, and still perform. It eliminates the need for expensive materials like cobalt and nickel, dramatically lowering production costs. And here's the plot twist. BYD made the battery so good that even Tesla uses BYD batteries in some of its made-in-China cars. But BYD's genius doesn't stop at batteries. They are one of the most vertically integrated automakers in the world. They produce their own semiconductors, their own electric motors, their own vehicle software, their own charging systems, even their own ships for exporting cars overseas. Western automakers still rely on thousands of suppliers spread across the globe. BYD has condensed the supply chain into a single powerhouse, cutting costs, saving time, and reducing risk.
This is why a BYD Seagull, a fully electric, modern compact car, can start at around $9,000 in China. That price doesn't just beat electric rivals, it destroys the price of gas cars. And when EVS become the cheaper option, the market reacts fast. Consumers don't switch because of ideology. They switch because their wallets tell them to. Meanwhile, traditional automakers are stuck in an expensive transition phase. They still must invest in combustion engines while spending billions to develop EVS. They are fighting a two-front war. BYD is fighting on only one, the future. The moment electric cars became cheaper to build than gasoline cars, the countdown began, and BYD started the clock. On the surface, gas cars still dominate the world, especially in the US, South America, and parts of Asia. But beneath the surface, the shift is happening faster than most people think. Let's start with the numbers. In every region where EVs become affordable and charging infrastructure is visible, consumers switch rapidly. Norway is the perfect example. Over 80% of new cars sold are electric. China is not far behind, with EVS claiming more than one-third of the market and growing fast. Even in Europe's struggling economy, EV adoption continues to climb year after year. And the key factor isn't saving the planet. It's saving money. Fuel costs are unpredictable and rising. Maintenance on gas engines is becoming more expensive as regulations demand more complex components. Particulate filters, turbochargers, catalytic converters. Meanwhile, EV charging is cheaper than gas refueling electric motors require far less maintenance. Software updates improve the car over time, instead of wearing it down. For millions of buyers, the choice is becoming simple. Why buy a gas car that will cost more to run? This shift is reshaping the global oil market. Transportation is responsible for the largest share of oil demand. And now major institutions, including the International Energy Agency, project oil demand for cars to peak this decade, then decline. That's a nightmare scenario for countries and corporations built around petroleum power. It's also a massive signal for automakers. Stick with gasoline and you get stuck in the past. While Western brands debate timelines and politics, BYD is already building the future and exporting it. They are investing in factories across the world, Thailand, Brazil, Hungary, Uzbekistan, Mexico, strong possibility under negotiation. These aren't small assembly lines. They are full-scale production hubs designed to flood global markets with affordable EVS. A developing nation doesn't need to build 100 years of gas infrastructure, pipelines, refineries, service networks, when electric is already cheaper. They can leapfrog directly into the future. And if EVs win in developing countries, that's the final blow to gasoline dominance. Because that's where most future car buyers live. While the oil industry tries to slow the transition, BYD is making it inevitable. For the first time in history, the global auto shift is not being led by the West. It's being responded to by the West. And that's changing the balance of power on the road. Every major industry disruption has a moment when the old technology stops being good enough. For gasoline cars, that moment has arrived, and BYD is the force pushing them past the point of no return. Because the shift we're seeing now isn't emotional, it's mathematical. When EVs cost less to buy, cost less to drive, cost less to maintain offer better performance, then the gas alternative doesn't stand a chance. And BYD has achieved exactly that. Their cars don't need oil changes, timing belts, spark plugs, mufflers, exhaust systems, or complicated transmissions. Electric drivetrains are so simple that the most expensive car part becomes software. While legacy automakers run on the business of repairs, dealerships, and replacement parts, BYD's model runs on efficiency. This is why governments are doubling down. Zero emission zones are expanding. Fuel taxes are climbing. Parking incentives and toll exemptions push drivers toward EVS car companies have to spend more engineering effort just to make combustion engines compliant, yet they still lose ground. It's a losing battle on every financial sheet. Mechanics feel the pressure. Their core business shrinks with every electric car sold. Gas stations see declining traffic. Oil refineries scale down capacity. Nations dependent on oil revenue rewrite long-term budget plans. A chain reaction is underway. Now add the wild card. BYD's global invasion of pricing. Imagine walking into a European dealership and seeing a brand new EV. Stylish, fast charging with modern tech. Priced lower than a basic gasoline hatchback. Emotionally, drivers may love the sound of an engine, but financially, they will hear something louder. Savings. 
That's why American and European lawmakers are suddenly afraid. The U.S. calls Chinese EVs a national security threat. The EU is launching tariff investigations, not because these vehicles are unsafe, but because they're too good, too cheap, and too disruptive. Even with tariffs, BYD can remain price competitive. That's not a business advantage, that's dominance. And while Western automakers hesitate, cut EV budgets, and beg governments for more subsidies, BYD is building ships to deliver cars worldwide, literally taking the lead on the road and the ocean. The question is no longer, will electric cars replace gas? The question is, how fast? Because thanks to BYD, the countdown has already started, the clock is ticking, and it's ticking for gasoline. Gasoline cars will not disappear overnight. There will still be collectors, loyal enthusiasts, and millions of engines roaring on highways for years to come. But their role is shifting, from mainstream transportation to legacy technology. Because once consumers realize they can get a cheaper, cleaner, smarter car, they don't wait for nostalgia, they move on. And that's the real story here. Not politics, not climate targets, not hype, value, performance, technology. BYD didn't just create a new electric car, they created a new standard, one that the rest of the world must now chase. Traditional automakers are racing to adapt, but every month of delay pushes them further behind. The age of gasoline defined the 20th century. The age of electric will define the 21st. And BYD, whether the West likes it or not, is leading that transition. So buckle up, because the future of driving will be quieter, faster, and much more competitive than anything we've seen before. If you want to stay ahead of the global automotive revolution, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and comment what side of history you're on. Electric, gasoline, 